We're building an accelerator, a world-class linear induction accelerator that gets to go underground, a thousand feet underground in the Nevada test site. And it's uh, about 20 pounds of sausage and an eight pound sack. It is an incredibly difficult project. Since the US stopped nuclear testing, we no longer have new nuclear test data to validate our assessment of our nuclear deterrent. In the process of modifying the warheads or modernizing the warheads, we need data to support that assessment and certification. The radiography capability with real material in plutonium really is very crucial in uh, supporting such an endeavor, and the data will, will support our assessment of nuclear deterrent. There's such a great relationship between uh, the labs trying to solve uh, a common problem. And we each have our own aspects, right? So we have Sandia that's really working on the injector. We have Los Alamos developing the accelerator cell, and Livermore's focusing on the, the pulse power. So, there are going to be 984 LRUs or pulsars that are going to be included in this system. So the drift for the tunnel at U1A is over 100 meters long. So let's just use nominal numbers and say 1,000 pulsars. Inside each pulsar, there are 45 printed circuit boards. So that's 45,000 printed circuit boards. Each printed circuit board has 80 channels. Those channels are comprised of electrical components, capacitors, diodes, FETs. If you do the math, that comes out to over three and a half million electrical components that are comprised just in our pulse power system alone. So there are plans to do the first uh, underground subcritical experiments that are, you know, well planned far in advance that have that are already scheduled. And the accelerator, the radiography system, needs to be ready to do those tests. And so that sort of puts our hard deadline on, you know when the accelerator needs to be commissioned and operational and ready to take pictures. The difference with the solid state architecture is we can turn it on or off whenever we want. So we can adjust how long the, the pulse is on, we can adjust the, the time duration between the individual pulses in the burst. LRU-8 is a culmination of 20 years of research and development into taking a solid state pulse power into a compact line replaceable unit that can be installed in a machine and. Uh, is, is replaceable should a failure occur and easily serviceable. When I had the opportunity to join this project, no hesitation, all in. Because the mission is super important and the capability that we're going to be providing will be around for multiple decades. And how could you not be excited and interested about that?